What's up my boys, got a new V4 race? So then you need a good sword to kick your opponent's ass. Today we're gonna talk about Yama and Toshira. From this video you will know what they can do, how to obtain them and why you need to do that in the first place. So let's start from Yama. Yama is a legendary sword, it has two skills and really fast attacks with decent damage making it a great sword in PvP. Move up that sword, have a good mobility and decent range that will help you to get closer to the enemies. With that sword you can travel very easily and low cooldown of its moves can help you to spam skills more often. Sounds good right? So how to get that sword? Not too hard actually, without any painful steps like we had when getting the V4 race, you know what I mean? <sighs> I still can't find that stupid gear. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> so where were we? Oh yeah, obtain the sword. The first step, you need to defeat Sorry Elite Pirates. Where do you find those pirates? So first you need to go and talk to the Elite Hunter NPC, which stands in the castle on the sea, in the Sword Sea. Here you can find them. He will say that you need to find and defeat one Elite Pirate. And he'll say where you find them. These pirates have 10 minutes to respawn, so that means that you can get a quest only every 10 minutes. In other words, when pirates spawn. By the way, only one pirate can spawn it one time. And here is the problem. Everybody can kill a pirate with or without having a quest from Elite Hunter. So if you are playing on a public server, you must do it as fast as you can. Otherwise, you will lose your quest. And you need to wait 10 minutes again. Not good. The pirates have three location to spawn. Floating Turtle, Hydra Island and Port Town. I forgot the great tree. Yeah there too. Elite Hunter will tell you where exactly you can find the pirate. So let's pick a quest. When you get a quest, always pay attention where is pirate location, because you need to know the correct island. When you get the quest, you need to go to the island to find the pirate. As you guys see right now, the pirate in the Gidra Island. So let's go there. And here's some tips. Always use the portals in the castle on the sea, because like that you can get to the island very fast. And go inside, we need a Hydra Island, so the second portal. And here we are in the place. Now, the second tip, of course, use Pale Scarf. Because you can see your enemies, I mean the Bounty Hunters. And with this scarf, you'll get a more longer range of your observation. And that extremely useful, because with that scarf, with the observation, you'll find the pirate, because pirate spawns in the random locations around the island. So you just wear this scarf and start hunting. You just go around the island and soon you'll find the elite pirate. By the way, pay attention on the mission details, because you'll find the name of that pirate. And if you see that name in observation, that means you found that bad boy. The elite pirate is not a strong enemy, so you will not have any problems to defeat them. And look guys, like I said, you will find the name of that pirate with your observation. And you can easily find them by that way. So the next step is to defeat them. I'm always using Buddha, so I don't have any problems. You can choose your way or how you play, I don't know. And and just start fighting with them. After the battle, you will get some interesting rewards, like fragments or some accessories, and the most valuable thing is got chalice. Yeah, by my previous video guys, you already know that this chalice is so hard to obtain. I just got it, I just got it. So now we can summon the inner boss, for example. So now we need to wait another 10 minutes and get another quest, and we need to repeat that again 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 until we defeat sorry pirates and that the hardest part of obtaining yama after we defeated sorry pirates we need to go to the hydra island in one special place so let's use again our portals and we're again in the hydra island so we're going in the middle of this uh, place okay and turn left here 
you'll find hole or waterfall. By the way, you, you, you don't take any damage of the water because it's a fake water, I think. I don't know. So we just jump down and here you'll find special way to the secret place right there. And now comes the interesting part. We just need to break this door and here you'll find the ghosts that you need, of course, to defeat. Yeah, they're so weak, so you'll not have any problems with that. Just kill them and that's it. After that, you'll find the Yama right in that stone and you just need to click on that sword many times. You'll see some message appears right there. And if you did defeat sorry pirates, you will die when pulling this sword. And if you do, you can get this sword very easily. Yeah, I'm just got it. Look, Yama is my adventurer right now, and that's how you can obtain Yama. So let's see how we can get Toshira. Toshira is much harder to get, but it's worth it. It's like Twin of Yama, same fast attack, same good mobility and even visuals, but it's stronger than Yama. So let's find out how we can obtain Toshira. Keep in mind guys that you need the level 2000, it's important, because without that you cannot get into the one place. Also, it's good to have a private server because in the public will be much harder to get it. Next I will show you why. By the way you can find those guys who has private servers in our discord. Link in description don't forget to join us because we are always trying to help people in there. So are you ready? Let's go. First you need to summon Rip Indra. To do that, you have to get God's Chalice, which drops from Elite Pirates. Watch the first part of that video to understand that. Then you need to press buttons around Castle on the Sea. There are only three buttons with different colors, which represent colors of Aura that you can get from Aura Merchant or buy them for Robux. If you have all colors or friends with the right color, you can stand on the plate and activate it. After you press all buttons, you can summon Indra with the God Chalice. Just touch direct with the Chalice and Indra will be summoned. When it's happened, do not kill Indra. Do not. And that's the most difficult part for players who don't have any private servers, because other players will definitely kill Indra boss. Of course you can ask people not to kill Indra, but I think there's a very low chance that they will listen to you. After you summoned Indra, you had to go to the waterfall secret room, where you got the Yama sword. But keep in mind that you must act quickly, while Indra is alive. Break the door again, defeat all ghosts there, but actually it's not necessary. Jump on the secret pass behind the first waterfall on your right side and go through it. Next you will see a massive door that you need to enter. After entering the door you will spawn on Hydra Island with a torch. Here you need to solve the puzzle by lining 5 other torches. You have only 5 minutes for that, so act quickly. The first one inside the arches of bridge, behind the tree on the arch close to the broken bridge. So you will find hanging on the wall inside the pineapple house, force on a shipwreck near the mythological pirates and the last one on the house near the forest pirates and now you can defeat the rindra bows to disable the fog after you finish it you will open the door to the longma boss that you need to defeat of course here you find the location of that boss after you defeat him you will get the tashira sword now you have those two beautiful swords but why do you need to do it in the first place because after you get 350 mastery on two swords you can start the puzzle to obtain course dual katana and that's one of the most powerful swords in the game if you need a guide for that leave a like comment and subscribe